Hello, this is Solar PV TV from Intersolar Europe 2015, where we're going to present you some news about the European market, but also some industry news. So, Gaetan, as we are here in Munich, uh, I would like to ask you, what is your forecast for the European market? I would say that the European market will either remain stable or will grow, I would say, slowly. Well, it would be already quite an achievement to see a growth in the European market after three consecutive years of market decline. Now, if we're looking at the European markets, we have to look at just five, perhaps six different markets. And if we're looking at the UK, it will be without any doubt the first market in Europe this year. Whether it will be 2.5, 3 or 4 gigawatts will depend on many factors that could be a bit too long to explain here. But something is clear, the UK will be the first market in Europe. Then we'll have Germany, that is extremely disappointing. It's extremely disappointing for the, I would say, second year in a row. And I don't see in 2015 Germany um, growing significantly. On the contrary, I think that the market will be lower than uh, many expect and most probably lower than one, one year before. Then, most probably, France will be the third market again. For many reasons, the French market is most probably going to be uh, around one gigawatt again. But after these three markets, the big question is which are the markets that we will see? Italy could have been the case because the regulatory framework in Italy is not that bad, but the market doesn't really respond to, to, to that framework. Uh, on the other side, we will see most probably a significant market, I would say hundreds of megawatts in the Netherlands, some things in Poland, some things perhaps in Romania, but this can be discussed. We could see uh, some market development in other countries, but at the end, what is going to do the, I would say 80% of the European market in 2015 is the UK, Germany and France. And behind these countries, I wouldn't say that it's the desert, but to a certain extent, it's very challenging. So Nicola, we just uh, attended the uh, ceremony of uh, signing the MOU with uh, CSUN for some big projects. Could you just tell us uh, shortly, what does it concern? Uh, in fact, today we signed a contract, a big contract with CSUN um, to develop some project in China. In fact, SoulStep is a European company and we decided to move to the Chinese market to develop ground-mounted PV plants. And today we are very pleased to sign a memorandum of understanding with CSUN for, for a project which represents a total of 250 megawatt peak. So third step is a very key account in Europe and in my territories in France. They have done a great job in building the PV plant in the last couple of years. So from the personal point of view, they are really great people. And then from professional side, they are great technical people as well. They have uh, one of the most expertised people people to building up a lot of PV plant in France. Um, so I've been working with them since two years now. Uh, at the beginning we are doing a lot of business in Europe but when I heard that they are going to go to China, which of course I'm of Chinese origin, I just feeling so great and so excited to go with them and then try to see how we extend our business relationship from Europe to China. How come it's possible that the French company suddenly arrives to China? Because normally in the past it was Chinese companies, Chinese banks, they were coming to Europe. What is uh, the reasonable behind that? In fact, the Chinese market is the most growing, fastest market worldwide. So we were looking new opportunity. As you know, European market for the PV is now uh, slower than before. And uh, we thought that we had a huge opportunity with a stable vision in China. So we decided to pro promote our knowledge to this market. Solar is very much about partnering. On the one hand side, we have uh, in Kerber 40, 50 production companies worldwide. So we are virtually already present in all markets. The other thing is that we are partnering up with guys. And that's basically where our campaign is about German hard local content. So what we are doing is we are taking the power electronics in a cabinet and find partners in the region, strong partners in the regions uh, to yeah, help us in, let's say, doing the cabinet manufacturing and the station building. Always under our own terms and uh, warranties, reps and warranties. So we are safeguarding the customer's investment but we are using partners which are very present in the region. I would love to present uh, my partner Schultz. Uh, they are well known and they are our localization partner in the US. 
um, for yeah all UL markets. We are also serving South America together with them, and we are helping our other in the new regions, Middle East, North Africa, and also Eastern Asia. So Dean Solon has with me. <laughs> nice Thank seeing you. you. So now I would like to ask uh, Dean for presenting your partner. So with LTI, we we have a. Uh, kind of a business model that to keep expanding with partners in different regions and with LTI and the way their inverter is designed it's uh, it's very modular and can be uh, built anywhere in the world uh, very localized region and uh, we are very happy to see that it's built in 350 kW blocks into a, a C-tainer and uh, we really think this technology will grow in the coming future. And uh, what about this partnership is it only for the United States or it's for different markets? It's starting in the U.S., but we're going to expand it to uh, the MENA regions and elsewhere. Uh, from our perspective, it should be gigawatts of projects doing together. That's a long-term way, right? You know, we are part of big group Kerber, and we are really investing into solar now. Yeah, and collaborating uh, with Schultz. Everything else uh, would be not a success. So we are going for the big projects together. Uh, can Dean confirm that? Gigawatts, baby, gigawatts. <laughs> Today uh, we had uh, the meeting, the PV quality meeting organized by Solar United and also by uh, Becquerel Institute. So what was the reason of organizing of this meeting? Yeah, yesterday was our first uh, meeting uh, for this about equality and it was great because we we had more than 40 people talking about uh, quality in different aspects and we wanted to have our first event because until now has been every, everything uh, by uh, email or by conference call. Uh, yeah, it was one way, one good way to start our, our quality committee. So uh, what was the feedback, Gaetan? Um, I think the feedback was quite good and there is a real need for the time being to discuss about PV performance and simply bettering the quality of or at least the perception of the quality that uh, I would say external observers could have about the PV industry in general. And one of the outcomes is that we succeeded yesterday in identifying what are the most important elements that we would like to see being bettered in the PV industry in the coming years. So what will be the next steps? The next steps uh, for us is to continue choosing the companies that uh, are going to be part of our quality committee and then maybe to have another, another event in uh, San Francisco, right, Getan? That's a possibility. What we believe now, and I think it's extremely important to cover the entire PV value chain. And to cover the entire PV value chain, we would like to identify which are the companies that will be the most interested in collaborating with us in order to bring a certain number of concrete results with regard to analyzing and promoting the fact that PV is now a quality industry. I was walking here around the booth and I noticed uh, some very interesting message on your booth. Actually, Multi-contact uh, deliver 100 gigawatt of connectors worldwide. I mean, it sounds huge because it's almost half of the global market, yes? Yes, Thomas, that's, that's true. We're, we are really proud, honored to announce that by mid-2015, which is actually now, we delivered 1 billion connector, which means 100 gigawatt system connected with our famous uh, PV connector, actually. Uh, that sounds uh, fantastic and especially taking into account that you are working with both downstream and upstream. So how are performing your connectors in the systems, in the 100 gigawatt systems installed so far? Well, you know, Multicontact jumped into the PV industry in 1996, inventing the first connector for the PV industry, which was the MP3. And then bringing to the market in 2002 the connector that is called MC4 right now. Uh, it's performing very well. I think we are the only uh, e-bus supplier, so electric uh, balance of system supplier, having more than 20 years field experience uh, today. So that's probably the best guarantee. 20 years, 100 gigawatts. I mean, what else should we say? I hear that the parties are standing around. So maybe the last question, uh, when uh, we will expect uh, 200 gigawatt uh, connectors coming to the market from multi-contact, when? Oh, that's, that, that's a good question. Uh, probably in the, in the next uh, three years, uh, very probably. Uh, thinking about the numbers we are delivering actually, how the market is, is growing, what we could expect. We are talking about 52 to 56 gigawatt this year. 
uh, the growing numbers for the coming years. I mean, we, we have two digit growth in our industry. So yeah, very probably in the next three years, uh, we, we can celebrate and have a good party for the 200 gigawatt uh, mark. That's all from InterSolar Europe 2015 today. Let's enjoy the party.